when you look at the earlier portion of the game, what are some of the things you guys need to focus on and improve upon that you carry forward to game five? Well, I mean, you know, they, they played with a lot of pace. Obviously, it's their own building. They're down 2-1, and, um, you know, we did a good job defending it, but, you know, we just uh, didn't really counterattack. We didn't get a lot going. Uh, you know, we had a nice goal early, but after that, kind of really didn't have found a great chances. So, you know, we try to find a way. I have to say, good goalie, so just keep trying to get traffic and, and, and play play our style. This is usually works. Connor, how much is that part and parcel where you guys are so good structurally, you play so well defensively, that maybe, I don't know if it numbs your senses to the way you can play offensively because you guys look so good when you pulled the goalie intact and then the effort in overtime. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we, we've defended, you know, really well all year. Yep. I think, um, when we were scoring goals at such a high rate at the start of the year, you know, maybe our defense got overlooked, but um, and then when the goals kind of dried up, we still were winning games, and you know, we could see how good our D was. So, um, obviously, you never want to kind of put yourself in a situation down three one with two minutes to go. But uh, you know, like I said, we fought back. We used all the time we could, and um, you know, kind of got lucky there with a quick, quick one in overtime. You're so good on the forecheck, initiating hits, and you've taken your fair share. Um, Quinn is obviously a target here. I mean, he's, he's, he's a key player. He's taken some pretty good licks. Uh, how much of it falls on him? How much of it falls on maybe you guys holding them up better so he has more time to, to exit the zone? Well, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I know it doesn't affect him, um, you know, mentally or physically. He, he's, a, he's a tough kid. He plays, plays hard. He's undersized. And, uh, you know, he's hard to get a hold of. So they get a hold of him. That's, that's hard to do. And you're usually not getting a full piece of him. So, um on. I think he likes it and he, and he enjoys this environment. And, you know, he's our best player and he, he's just going to continue to keep playing great for us. The way he broke some ankles on that, I think, refers to that goalie pull. Goal, just the fact that the way he recovers. Second one, yeah. yeah the last one, yeah. That was there, 50, yeah. 15 seconds. I think they rim it. Um, you know, and it kind of bounces and he knocks it down with the shaft. You know, in real time, I can I can believe he, he knocked it down because you kind of have that feeling in your stomach like, God, oh, it's getting out. And then he, you know, so. That's why he's, uh, you know, he's one of the best in the world. That's that's a that's a freaky kind of play. How about him play that frog beat just to get the puck off the boards and put it back in the net? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He missed the first one. I think, um, you know, I kind of like thought thought it was in and like it was almost falling over. But um, you know, he stuck with it. Uh, you know, I don't know if many guys could do that. Like you, know, you kind of panic when you miss that first one. He, you know, you watch it again. He looks so calm as he has it. And, uh, Corrales it and then good job by Z if you want you kind of like as a pick there guy but he get he's in the way and uh, their D can't really get a stick back in time so you know all six guys were on, on the ice for bigging to that goal and you know that's that's what it takes at this time of the year. What were play you made on the overtime goal did you take a peek over your shoulder did uh, Elias call yeah. or what? Uh, yeah I think he, everybody I mean I heard from everybody on the bench saying they were calling too it so <laughs> <laughs> they saw it so uh, you know it just uh, it works in a way that's why you you work, you work at that stuff, you know. So it's kind of slow mo at these times. So it's, uh, you know, it's a stressful time. But you have to be able to make some plays, and um, you know, it's just a good finish by him. You know, and he hit it so hard. Uh, I heard it off his stick. I was like, it's got to be in. So, uh, but no, it was, it was good. That's why we got him. You know, he's he makes big time plays. Got the assist on the first first goal to kind of get us going, and then, uh, you know, he's he's been great for us. What can you what? say about Archers? I a gamer. I mean, he's uh, he's calm. Um, couldn't even tell it was you know his first game, so um, you know really excited for him. Played well. He uh, like I said, I saw him this summer. He, he killed us at Worlds, and I saw how talented he was, how uh, agile. He's, he's an athlete. You see it. You see it when he's in the net and he just competes. So yeah, it's fun to, fun to play for. What resonates with you the most about the win yesterday? What stands out? I don't know. I think you try to move on so quick so i mean obviously in the locker room you're, you're excited and, and then it's you know it's three three one and you're going home but uh, that's a really good really good hockey team i mean that's they're hard to beat so um we understand our task at hand tomorrow so i think uh you know we're happy we gave ourselves an opportunity to, to win the series but uh you know we just know we gotta have our, our best game of the series so far what's your best game tomorrow look like just i mean what you guys saw all year I mean, you know we obviously haven't played our best um you know, but we grinded out two wins, so that's another thing that we did all year. We didn't have our A game. Uh, because find ways to win, and when we, we've done that this series. But, uh, you know, when, when a team's back since, well, you're going to have to have your best, so it's we'll have to do. Will you be able to feed off the energy of fans to kind of counter that desperation from them? Uh, yeah, well, obviously it's exciting when you come home and play in front of your fans. And, uh, you know, the environment game one and two is awesome. You know, uh, so we're, we're excited to get back in front of them and we'll see what we can do. What, does your, what can your line do, Karin? Just to create more 
opportunities, more shots. You can't be, no team can be a one-line entity going into a big game like tomorrow night. But you guys have been so effective all year. No matter who's in the middle, what do you have to do tomorrow night to generate more? Um, I mean, I thought we've done all right. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're going up against a really tough line and, you know, tough deep fairing. So, you know, they're, they're talking about the same stuff. It's hard. It's hard to, you know, score at this time of year. But I think we've done all right. But, um, you know, we, 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 everybody can play better. But we just uh, think if we just play our game, you know, we'll be all right. Is the important thing not to deviate? In terms of chasing offense, yeah, nobody's How well you, yeah, yeah, nobody's chasing, chasing offense this time of year. You're just playing, and you know, perfect, perfect against us last night. You know, we just we stuck with it. We defended pretty well as a line, and um, you know, then you wait till you know extra sure. time. But I mean, you know, look at Melzi, like they're they're playing so well. They're playing with pace, and you know, they're defending well as well. And, um, and I think uh, I think uh, you know all our lines been going pretty good. It's just you know, there's there's four other lines over there trying to do the same thing. The three didn't always wins yep. for each of them. What does it say to speak to that same thing in terms of how you guys defend? Like that, that it doesn't seem to change no matter who's. Well, in. they deserve a lot of credit too. You know, Clarky as well. I mean, it just shows you know, you know, uh, it's a good, good sign of a good team when you can roll roll deep like that, and you know, every guy comes in and competes, and you know, we shoot on all of them in practice and see how hard they work. So we we're happy for them, happy for Kays, happy for Artie, and um, you know, you know, they've earned it. So, um, but we, we like playing for any, any one of them, and. Uh, Excited, you know, excited for my night.